Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Crusader Kings 3 as we continue our run here as Ireland. Still working on converting this little bit of land here. Uh, this has got a holy site in it, so we're trying to convert it. It's almost there. Uh, once we can convert that, we would like to try and get us a claim somewhere in Scotland and hopefully press that before England stops being a willing ally. I can demand some payments from some people. Sure, 10 gold, why not? This is my high queen. Okay, why not? Give me some give me some gold. Cool. All right. Got some good money coming in. Uh, we're still building stuff here. We're still building the smithies there. We're still building the carver's guild there. My counselor died. So my scheme ended. So my chancellor uh, this is my vassal knight, and he's really good at that. So, we sign you. Maybe you won't hate me as much, and then we can start swinging you, hopefully. And that'll work. Um, vermin have infested several granaries, destroying the sea grain stored in them. With nothing to plant for next year's crop, the free tenants living there have come to ask me for aid. Given their dire situation, these farmers will ultimately be forced to accept whatever terms I offer them. Don't think I want popular opinion to go down, but control going up is not bad. What's the deal with Earl of Lothian? Where is that at? It's over there. So they already have bad popular opinion. You know what? Let's take pity, I think. Uh, I mean, I could spend a little bit of piety instead. Either one of those actually gives me... You know what? Let's spend a little bit of piety. That's fine. Comfort of a friend. Come on, conversion. She looks very angry. Our smithy's being constructed. So, I guess we can do a hay meadow. Actually, technically a salt well at this point. Also got this thing available at some point. Getting some stress, but that's not that big of a deal. Did we convert? Yes, task is finished. We are converted. You're now part of the sheep. Which does mean we've got... To come back over to here. This is not controlled by sheep. What? Why not? How is it not controlled by sheep? I'm obviously missing something then. We're upset over conversion, that's fine, but what am I missing about the sheep thing? Holy sites. I don't understand why this wasn't count as being held. Let's say faith is, is insularism. Insularism. Huh. Touch of Ulster. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I don't know. Maybe I don't understand how this works. Okay, whatever the case is, we do need to get us another plot of land. So, fabricate claim up here somewhere. You need these, like, better than the other. 
Maybe it's quicker than the other? Not really. I guess we'll just go for this one right here. Connect our two pieces of land a bit. We can get this um, innovation. What are the chances we get this anytime soon? Uh, I mean, it's coming. Tell us uh, four years. All right, I mean, that's not bad. Give us a bigger military overall. Hey, two gold. This is my daughter, my grandson. He is handsome. You perk. What does this actually give us? Stewardship plus two, holding taxes plus 15%. I like that. Do we want to change something here? I don't think so. We might go down over here towards architect stuff. I feel like that might be a pretty good one for now. Get some building construction stuff going. Yeah, I still don't understand why this isn't controlled. I'm obviously misunderstanding something. It's alright, though. My wife has died. How old am I? 54. I mean, I guess I'm still young-ish. Young enough to get married again. She is intelligent. And I am what? Intelligent and beautiful. I need someone who's hale. So actually probably her. It's the one missing link. Inspiration. I receive a missive from my adventurer who has been in the crisp lands of the Taiga Forest. I have spent some... While surrounded by the finest company a journeyman could ask for, a colony of beavers, okay? Well, with this courier, I send to you a book of sketches of the structures they use to catch fish in the waters. Oh, to be a semi-aquatic rodent. Alright. Become the owner of the palaces of beavers. I mean, it's interesting. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know if it's good, but it's interesting. All right, I can get a better artifact if I continue to fund him. Sure, why not? Palace of Beavers. Do I actually want that one? I mean, I'm doing stewardship lifestyle stuff, but honestly, I do feel like the Palace of Beavers thing might be better than that. A little bit of building, especially when we're constructing stuff, right? Make things speed up a little bit. Why not? Honestly, I might be getting to the point where this animal figuring isn't that great. So, uh, I mean, the stress gains is probably still worth it. We'll leave it for now. Actually, this one's terrible. Only 0.1 piety. You know what? We're going to swap you back out for the, the old ledger, I think. Yep, I'm okay with that. I have an empty council position, my spy master. I mean, she's my vassal, but my son is definitely better at the work, the job than she is. Still swaying you. We are still swaying you. About to get our claim. Oh, he died. So we don't get our thing. That's not good. Heraldry. What is the, the what does heraldry get us? High partition law connect house seniority law gives us more monthly prestige. All right, still can found the holy order. I don't know that I want to. I mean, how many options options are we going to get to found a holy order over time, though? Maybe we take it for what we can. Is 
Doesn't really matter where we found it, it looks like. I mean, the fervor's already maxed out at the moment. Oh, I can call their support for free against Holy War. Okay, you know what? Why not? I don't know if it'll come up, but if it does, then we have that option. Apparently I can borrow gold from the Holy Order. So the Holy Order I just established, I can borrow money back from them. But I have to pay it back at some point. There's not really much point, I don't think. I mean, if we get desperate, it's good to know that we have that in our back pocket, but don't think we need it right now. Our Marshal is dead. Show. We'll go with you. We'd like you to continue to try and increase control in some places, please. So yeah, you're fine where you're at. All right, so this is our claim. Do need to get a little bit of money before we can press that. Okay, we just got a big chunk of money. House savings. All right, good. Um, let's go to war. Negotiating an alliance with you, apparently. Sure, we'll have a mutual alliance for now. Let's let that take over real quick. Okay, good. And then let's go to war against Scotland here. We're going to go for our claim. She's got a pretty big military just by herself. Get our rally point moved over to here. And we'll raise all the armies. And does she have a bigger military than us? Do we need to bring our other friends in? Uh, we might not. We can hold off on bringing friends in. I would like to. So we'll see. Oh, I should slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, she did get an ally to join her. Okay, that's a massive ally. So we are going to have to get England in here, it looks like. Oh, we missed him. Where's your ally coming from? Where is she at? Oh, way down there. Wow, way down there. I mean, she probably will show up, but there's a good chance it will be a little while, so maybe we can stop on these guys before she does. Or she'll show up right away. I don't know. That might, is that her? Oh, she must have grabbed some uh, mercs, right? Maybe? It's hard to tell. Oh, Knights Templar? Maybe those are some sort of mercs. Um, merge all these guys together. Stay some procedures. I'd like to chase this person down. Do we have any marks that we can grab? Holy orders? We can hire these for nothing, apparently. And they are right here. No way we're going to be able to catch up with these guys before they merge up, I don't think. No, they're going to be too strong. Enemy holder order. Alright, well, we're winning this war for the moment. They're starting to come in there. Are we going to... I mean, it's, it's close. Now he's going to get in there in time to sway things the other way, unfortunately. So 
We are going to lose that. We're going to have to bring England in. Something we wouldn't have to, but we are. How many troops do you have, sir? I mean, you got a decent number. But we got we got to bring in a lot more troops than that, right? We got to bring at least 10,000 troops in here. You're definitely not enough. You're definitely not enough. And you, of course, would not be enough either. All right, England, come save us again. Try to do it on my own. Just couldn't quite get it. If we could have caught that first group, we would have been fine. But we just we just couldn't catch them. This is a massive battle here. Oh, England's going to lose. Am I looking at this wrong? Oh, no, no. England's on the... Uh, the, 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 the ba okay. England's in blue. They're on this side. But this is blue. It, the, the, the number's just looking funny. That's all. So I guess England was the defender? I, I think I'm reading that right. It's, it's very confusing, to be honest. But looks like England's going to win that one. So we're good. And then we can we can come back over and start helping now. Cause he's stopped he's jumped on them enough that that should get us a little bit of a leg up. He'll be in the area. We can start sieging some stuff down. All is good. England is all we we just needed England to come save the day, I guess. I almost feel like we could have done it by ourselves, just not quite there. You don't gotta cross the water, England. You can come follow us. Reduce troop levy. Oh. She wants to use levies to complete the work. So we get minus 50% levy size or we get minus 25% levy size plus a bunch of construction stuff. Or we could just get increased troop levies. You know what? We'll drop the levies a little bit because we're not going to, we're, we're not, our number is not what's getting us this war. It's England. So I'm not super worried about that. We want to get another city. So where is the city? Down there. Or we can give him the city of Sligo. Up there. Honestly, the city of Sligo. A little bit further away from our holdings. Not that we'll ever get this holding, but I think I'd rather just give you that one. Yeah, sure, why not? Big old chunk of gold. We'll hold on to it until after we the war, but we probably will be building some more things here shortly. Alright, let's go get the land that we want back. Wait, what's going on? Questionable concoction. Welcome between audiences. I overhear my flexible court physician, Sines, discussing her latest flight of fancy. It's supposedly the strongest potion in existence. It comes only from the far farthest reaches of the world. Or to say the merchants and alchemists I have or so the say the merchants and alchemists I have spoken to. She pulls out a vial of pale yellow liquid, throwing it beneath my courteous curling noses. They say it grants vigor and long life and is favored by those who are going into battle, but only the strongest can handle its power. So there's a forty percent chance I get a strong potion. It's more prowess and medium health boost. I could also get a penalty. I could also just die. One percent chance that I die. I mean, I think I'd rather just say let it just go away. 
we're not going to mess with that. Oh, I almost got there. They, it looks like they did run away there. So let's just go ahead and station procedures here. And then maybe we can start chasing them down. Of course, we got to be careful here because... We do have a very weak set of troops now. <laughs> Massive force. Someday I hope we're as big as England. All right, well, they're going to flee that way, so let's make sure we come up here to protect our besiegers. In fact, we might as well just go ahead and go to the spot that our besiegers are, because they're going to be finished soon anyway. Okay, we got that. Let's group you guys back up. Let's go help these guys. Um, let's station procedures here. Move on to over here. Collapse of the Empire. With the passing of Emperor Shirgu Geru, several successors have claimed the position of, as Great Khan. With none of them recognizing the others, we are finally seeing the end of the Mongols as a unified empire. They may not be they may not be weak, but they are no longer standing united behind a single universal ruler. So if we go look at the Mongols. I guess at one point they were the Golden Horde. Now these all these little ones. So but the Golden Horde is obviously still really massive, but I think a lot of this land is just mostly barren. So I'm assuming it's all these little bits and bobs here. I didn't I didn't look at what it was before, but most likely where it's at. Guess we'll chill here. Actually, let's move over to there. All right, you got all that. Good job. Kind of wish we could press for more claims than just this, but that's all right. Um, all right, we're going to collect more taxes, more money, helps us build more things. All right. Oh, I thought that was going to be a hundred percent. I mean, we've got the ticking score, so it will take over momentarily. There we go. No. Why can't I enforce demands? Oh, I guess it just, it didn't look like it was highlighted for a second, for some reason. Um, I got the earldom, blah, blah, blah. Things go on. Thank you, England, for coming to the rescue. Someday I'll be able to win my own wars. Someday. All right, all that's good. Demand payment, sure. Um, I can ransom this guy. I don't really want to ransom this guy. We do have a few knights, apparently. So let's allow you for sure to be a knight. Oh, you're already allowed. I mean, none of these guys are great. Maybe we do the decision that lets us find new knights. Looks good. Our son, 
got all three? He does. So I think once he becomes leader, maybe we should just kill ourselves on purpose to make sure he's still alive. Because that should let us strengthen our bloodline, I think. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, um, we will start building some more stuff. We got some gold. Let's let's take care of that. Um, hopefully get the thing here that allows us to build up more of our military stuff. Men at Arms is about to happen in 10 months. So that's going to be really good as well. But yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.